for this trick I'm going to be using one, two, three, four red back playing cards. Now all you need to do is keep track of the top card, the Ace of Diamonds. So if I take the Ace of Diamonds, put it back to the bottom of the pack, and reverse the order of the deck, and if you've been following, you should know that that Ace of Diamonds has come back to the top. Now if I take that Ace of Diamonds and move it back to the bottom, that Ace of Diamonds will still come back to the top. If I take that Ace of Diamonds and try and put him into the centre of the pack, it will still come back to the top. If I try and take that Ace of Diamonds and throw him onto the table, that Ace of Diamonds will still come back to the top. If I take him and I try and put him back onto the bottom, that Ace of Diamonds will still come back to the top because that's his job. It doesn't matter how many times I take this ice and put it back to the bottom of the pack, that ice of diamonds will always come back to the top, and it doesn't matter how many times I drop them onto the table, the ice of diamonds will always come back to the top. Now I know what you're thinking, you think I'm cheating. You think that I've got four cards that are identical. Well, I have got four cards that are identical, but they're not ices. You see, I like to use my top card as a five of spades, I like to use my second card as a five of spades. I like to use my third card as a five of spades. And I like to use my fourth card as a five of spades. It'd be easy just to say there are about lots of spades. One, two, three, four. So there's no diamonds at all. There's no aces at all. So is that a nice trick or is it a five trick? But well, I don't like to call it either. I like to call it a pitch card trick because what I've actually got is I've got one joker here. I've got a second joker here. I've got a third joker here. And I've got a fourth and final joker here. And that's all using just one, two, three, four playing cards. And that's jumping Gemini.